Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a watch like you've never seen before. Or maybe you have, but have you ever seen IWC like this? Ultra thin. And this is ultra thin. This IWC Gentleman's Automatic Skeleton is only 5 millimeters thick. That's right. Using the caliber 2717 IWC Skeletonized Automatic, itself only 2.4 millimeters thick, this watch has achieved what must be the holy grail, not just of watchmaking, but of modern watch fashion. Because ultra-thin watches in the year 2015 aren't making a comeback, they are back. Now, as of 2013, we began to see a revived interest in ultra-thin watches. That year for its Jubilee I, uh, JLC, Jejeur Le Coult, the great house itself debuted the Master Ultra Thin Jubilee, a 5mm thick manual wind commemorative watch to mark 180 years of the manufacture. But decades prior, IWC beat them to the punch with this automatic winding skeleton model based on a Frédéric Piguet Ebauche, heavily modified with hand engraving. This originally came out in the 1970s and was a mainstay of the dress line, even through the 1980s, so it had a remarkable run for a true kind of inside baseball watch. This is one for, for connoisseurs. It's so far off the beaten path of your oversized pilot top guns, engineers, aqua timers, GSTs. A lot of IWC fans, even very dedicated, erudite, studied IWC fans of the sports and tool watches might not even know that this watch exists. But in addition to being sort of en vogue again. We saw JLC countered by Piaget with their Altiplano P900 in uh, 2014, a watch pushing, I want to say, four millimeters thick, but that one being a hand wind. This one trumps both the JLC and the Piaget in being automatic, and that's truly unique. This watch featuring an off-center winder on its spider-like, almost spider-web-like skeletonized movement, is completely unique. You'll never see an, another IWC like it. It's a vintage reference. It's not a well-known reference, but like I said, it's a connoisseur's piece. For someone who truly loves watchmaking, you, the appreciation of what goes into making this watch drops the jaw. It's probably easier to create your run-of-the-mill modern tourbillon watch than to skeletonize a movement to this degree. And to do it on both sides with hand engraving, might be the peak of the métier d'art of movement engraving. That's right, métier d'art. Another modern development has been the revival of interest in added value by practice of traditional watchmaking arts. Not just watchmaking from an engineering standpoint, but marquetry, the inclusion of wooden elements in a dial, engraving, which you see here, enameling, miniature painting. Vacheron Constantin, Ulysse Nordin, Beauvais Fleurier, They've made entire business cases and built their lineups around some of these at the ultra high end. The haute de gamme stuff increasingly isn't complicated watchmaking like your tourbillons, your retropont, minute repeaters, grand complications, combining all of the above. Increasingly, it is the métier de art, the master of art practice, like the engraving you see on this IWC skeleton automatic. Now, I wish I could show you the ultra high res. Uh, images that we take in our studio here. I've only got the iPhone. Crank it up to 1080p if you can, but you're probably going to miss some of the best of this 2717 unless you look at the studio photography. Every square centimeter, including the little spindly bridge links between the pivot jewels, is completely engraved and deeply engraved. It's a stunning achievement. The fact that it didn't simply collapse under the engraver's tool is, is a marvel. The fact that after decades, it's still functioning as an accurate and robust mechanical device, a micro machine, that drops my jaw. The fact that this watch is able to be worn daily, that this thing could run for decades when even a $100,000 car is expected to be a high school kid's, you know, jalopy within 12 years, that just speaks to the value not just of luxury watches, but of truly fine luxury watches like this that have heirloom quality and heirloom appeal. They survive ages because of the artistry, because of the mechanical integrity, the permanence of this kind of beauty in the hands of a great collector makes it a transgenerational possession. And that's where the real value comes in. This may not be your typical IWC collector's piece. Far from it. It's not an engineer's watch. It's not a dive watch. You're not going to take it in a plane unless you're flying first class. 
The bottom line is that this is a beautiful traditional exercise in engraving. Engraving a movement, skeletonizing it, assembling it against all the odds. Given how thin it is, 2.4 millimeters in a world where 3 millimeters for an automatic movement is considered ultra thin, this goes beyond the ultimate. This is the living end. If you're into artistic watchmaking, fine watchmaking, delicate detailing, traditional styles, if you like IWC but you don't like the direction of the company these days, hey, John Mayer, that's me giving you a shout out. The bottom line is that this IWC Skeleton Automatic 34 millimeters in 18 karat yellow gold just might be the watch you want. Here you see it on my wrist, which is six and a third inches, that's 16 centimeters for our metric friends. I just want to give you the sense of how flat this watch is. Realistically, on any thicker strap, you'd almost feel like the thickness of the strap rivals the thickness of the case. With tight curved lugs, it wears even smaller. And it's worth noting that not only did this watch exhibit outstanding workmanship, but considerable foresight and innovation. Because during the 1970s, when this reference was developed, sapphire case backs were almost unheard of. And this watch, with sapphire crystals on both sides to show both sides of the engraved movement, gives you a huge porthole to view and appreciate both sides of the workmanship. So this watch, not just an incredible meche to art, but also a forward-thinking piece that pioneered the sapphire case back. This is an outstanding reference from IWC. And from WatchYouWant.com, when I talk about the heirloom quality of the watch, I mean it. We're offering this box with a we're offering this box paper accessory set 100% complete with the watch. Everything you would have received had you actually found an IWC authorized dealer in the U.S. during the late 70s is included with this watch. It is a vintage piece in outstanding functional and cosmetic condition. Again, this is a true connoisseur's piece. If you've had hamburger, you need to try steak. And if you've tried the steak, try the filet mignon because this is an outstanding cut. I'm confident that you're, if you're into watchmaking, meche to art, traditional style, and if you truly appreciate a fine timepiece exquisitely rendered, you will love this IWC Skeleton Automatic Reference 2701, and it just might be the watch you want.